Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be talking about brutal ground techniques that are, I don't know, becoming very rare, almost dying out for some reason. I don't know why, although a lot of them are actually still legal and yet you don't see any of them. Now, I'm not saying the level of the ground technique is bad. No, of course not. There's still a lot of very good technique, but very limited. So you see a lot of arm bars, you see a lot of collar strangles, um, triangle pins, and of course a variety of pins because that is the judo specialty, so to speak. But there are techniques that are just, I don't know why, for some reason dying out and yet they are epic and I'm gonna highlight them in this video. Now, without further ado, number one, flying armbar. This is a very obvious one and just to start off with the things that I do not I don't, I don't want to say condone, but uh, it's a dangerous technique. If you fall on your neck, if you fall on your head, that's your career and that's your life. Now, something like this, where you actually pull them down and get immediately to the arm bar, which is legal, I'm fine with it, but jumping like this for me, for me at least, it's a no. And I've seen a lot of bad injuries from this. Next is the arm entanglement or the ude garami for some reason you rarely see it now this is from the last 15 years or 15 years ago absolutely brutal here you see how he just pops it very classical and then puts it back and uh, for some reason you don't see it a lot of people say uh, only the straight uh, arm variation is legal whatever it may be even if you have the straight arm variation legal you don't see it as well so this is a classic judo technique where you see a lot of variations. My personal favorite is the straight arm as you just saw from the uh, intro. Um, here you can see you can have it bent downwards or upwards. Upwards for me it's the most painful and uh, downwards of course everyone knows it from the legendary fighter Masahiko Kimura. Here you see another legendary Judoka demonstrating it, Yasuhiro Yamashita, and um, he is actually being directed by Sato, the legendary Sato. So this is a very great footage showcasing a lot of fundamental techniques. Just look up Sato and Yamashita on YouTube and you will find it. So uh, what I did find uh, uh, intriguing is those multiple variations that you just saw in the old highlights. You have the straight arm. Uh, downwards and bending upwards so you had all three and unfortunately you rarely see it some people hold the grip but yet use it to just pin because they don't want to risk someone letting go or escaping and here you see the famous uh, trick where someone is holding to their belt where you just pop it to the other side of the lock and then lifting it and driving it down and then you get the submission. So let's see it again. Here again, pops it, lifts it, and then back. Um, this Ude Gatame blew my mind. Again, this is, I think, 15 years ago. Look at the leg hook preventing him from totally escaping and then pressing on the elbow and crunching it. And that leg hook is absolutely crazy. I absolutely love this technique. And again, Ude Gatame is, I think it had some uh, stars like, uh, I believe the Russian, I forgot his name, was it uh, Denisov? I forgot. And also Kosei Inoue even did this technique, but uh, the Russian was definitely one of the best to do this. So this is the classical form. You press the wrist on the clavicle and with your hands, you lock the elbow here. You see how he's pushing away on the hip, but as we just saw from the competition example, he was hooking the leg and lifting it up, uh, giving him no uh, weight or anything to put on the ground in order to push himself off. It was absolutely genius. I loved it. So here you can see very similar to what we just saw without the leg hook, but towards the end, he turned the, the arm and then uh, extended the hips, very similar to a classical armbar or juji gatame but that leg hook was crazy so 
again this one of those techniques that are absolutely legal yet maybe you can see it uh, nowadays for whatever reason I don't know why next again a beauty called ashi gatame or the leg hold you can bend the arm in whatever direction and you can also do it in a straight arm so here you can see it's a straight arm if you are uh, bending your leg from the away from the head uh, the, it becomes a straight arm lock as you can see here however if you uh, use the other leg it will become a bent uh, arm uh, arm lock so it is beautiful and you can do it from so many positions not just this one so you pull them as they turtle and turtle of course being very prominent in judo here you see the bent uh, variation as we just saw in the competition variation so if you hook from the head side or the side that's close to the head you will get uh, a bent arm lock here you can see also you can do it and not to be confused with the knee uh, hold because you use the back of the knee but here you're using the thigh it's a different submission yet it can somewhat look the same so it's a very versatile submission the leg hold or the ashi gatame and yet uh, you don't see it or rarely you get to see it here you see one of the best at it used to be Saito and uh, he performed it multiple times he would do either the straight arm variation here or the bent depending on which leg he gets first and he got it quite a few times and uh, it's, a, it's a brutal technique and I don't know why we just do not get to see it uh, anymore it's it's a shame so uh, again all these are legal except the flying arm bar and yet I don't know why this is why I had to make this video because these are basic submissions fundamentals beautiful brutal and legal so if someone here uh, has a high level competitor watching do not forget those and if you, you can attempt them please do so so here again he has a highlight of this submission that's how good he was uh, with this uh, submission so uh, this is uh, mainly it I wanted to highlight some old uh, groundwork now a lot of stuff are being phased out and also a lot of unethical stuff happened I have to comment on the Spaniard kept strangling after the referee told him to stop and he kept and rendered him unconscious and he got the win it's an absolute joke of a competition i always say this and i will never uh, support it for many reasons so if you have anything to add let me know this was shady thank you for listening